Assalamu alaikum friends, how are you? Today I am going to make chicken spring rolls. First I will tell you, these are very crispy and delicious. Please do try it at home and subscribe my channel, share, comment and like my video. So let's start. First of all, I am putting 2 tablespoons of oil in a pan. This is refined oil I am using. And I will increase the flame so that the oil gets heated properly. Now I am putting 8 to 10 crushed garlic cloves. And I will sort it properly and now I am putting in one big sized sliced onion. And I will saute it too properly. So, I will just make it soft. I will not change its color. So, I think it's done. It's It got softened. Now, I am putting 300 grams of boiled shredded boneless chicken. Make sure the chicken is boneless. And now, I am going to mix the chicken with all the other ingredients. It's already boiled. So, there is no need to cook it for more time so it's done now i'm using some powdered masalas that are 3 4 teaspoon of salt 3 4 teaspoon of red chili powder and then half a teaspoon of black pepper powder and i will mix these ingredients properly you can put these three ingredients as per your taste. <clears throat> now, I am putting 2 teaspoons of vinegar, that is sirka, 2 teaspoons of dark soy sauce. The vinegar was white vinegar and this is dark soy sauce. And then a one big large tablespoon of red chili sauce. Now, let's mix this properly. These three ingredients also as per your taste you have to put. If you need it more, you can put it more. Now, I am putting some veggies and those are grated carrots. These are four grated carrots. First wash it properly and then put. Now I am using three big sized sliced capsicums. You can also put colorful bell peppers such as yellow or red. And now I am using some cabbage. You can also put some more veggies if you want like peas, beans or anything. And now I am mixing it properly. I will not cook it. I will not overcook it. I will, I will just make it, uh, I will just keep it crunchy. So a stuffing was done and now I am using 2 teaspoons of maida and some water for making the slurry that is uh, means i will use it as the glue for sealing the rolls so two tablespoons sorry two teaspoons made up and then some water and i'll mix it properly and make sure the slurry is thick and not thin it's done and now for rolling i'm using the stuffing spring roll sheet slurry and some processed cheese i've grated the cheese now on the sheet, in the middle, I will put the stuffing and I will show you two ways for rolling. This is the first way. In first way, I am putting it in the middle. The stuffing in the middle. And I will put cheese in, on the top of it. And from the sides, I will fold it. You can see I am folding it. Uh, means I am folding the whole part of the remaining sides of the sheet. And now I am folding it folding it from the downside and on the top I am applying the glue that is the maida slurry and I will stick it properly make sure you are sealing it properly and this is done now I will show you the second way seal it properly from all the sides and see and now this is the second way I am using the same ingredients but the stuffing in this 
way i am putting it on one side of the down side and on the top of it i am using cheese and here the from the sides just a little bit i am folding not much in the first way i have folded it much now i am folding it a little bit i have rolled it from the down side and the same process again this lady i am applying and make sure you are using a a, a good amount of slurry in this way because it has a large surface area as you can see this one is a big one and first one was the small one so i have kept the oil for heating and the oil is heated and now i'm one by one going to put my chicken spring rolls and be careful while putting it do not overload the pan at one time just put four at once after every 1 minute you have to change the sides of the rolls so that it's cooked properly from both the sides this is the third time i'm changing the side and i will just make it a bit of crisp and i will just change its color a slight color i will give a golden brown if you have to give a dark color then you can keep it for more time but i like it a, uh, with a light color so i think it's done yeah it's done so now i will remove it with the plucker and be careful while removing it i am removing it on a tray and then i will plate it properly so nice color so you can see our chicken spring rolls are ready these are very tasty believe me do try it at home please like subscribe and comment and please 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 share my video so that it subscribe more and more